Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about wiring a double pole, double throw center off switch. So this is basically a motor reversal switch and it's used in quite a lot of applied technology projects and it's used a lot in engineering projects. So it's a switch that looks like this. It has six uh, contacts at the bottom. And what it means by double pole, double throw, center off is that when the switch is in the center, it's in the off position. If you flick it one direction, it goes one way. And if you flick it the opposite direction, it goes the other way. So if we look at a motor, first of all here. So here's your standard yellow motor. A lot of you will be familiar with that. When we connect a battery to A little bit awkward now with these motor contacts here. If we connect it one way, it goes that way. Then I'm going to switch the battery around and connect it the opposite way. If you notice, the motor goes in the opposite direction. So that's the principle of how a double pole, double throw, center off switch works. So we need a couple of wires. Uh, we have the switch um, there. We need our battery snaps, which go to the two middle contacts. We need two small wires i just picked two small yellow ones and therefore the diagonals and then we need two wires to attach to the motor so they go out one side there like that so basically the battery snaps always go to the middle we have two small wires crossing the diagonals and then we have two wires connecting to the motor. Now, what people often make a mistake on here is if you see these terminals here, so I've zoomed in on it closely here, there's going to be two wires going into these terminals. So you do not solder until both of the wires are in place on these terminals. So we'll get into the actual soldering of it now. Step one here is place the battery snaps to the two middle contacts and solder them. So I will link the soldering video at the end if you haven't seen it already. I'm presuming you have. You would not miss a video. That's step one. The next step then is get the two small yellow wires and I just place them on one side here. Like this. Again. Feeding in both the solder and the soldering iron. And then we loop the diagonals across. So the one on the left goes to the opposite contact on the right. And vice versa. So I take a little bit of playing around with this. Again, using the helping hand here um, is really handy. So remember, we do not solder these until both of the wires are in place. So there's two wires going into this contact. So here it is with the excess snipped off. We've got the red and black battery snaps to the middle. We've got our yellows looped across the diagonals and then our red and our black ready to go to the motor. Now people often ask me, what is the most satisfying thing about being a technology teacher? Well, I'm gonna show you. So let's pan it out here. I've got the drill here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to place the ends of the red and the black wire into the chuck. I'm gonna just pinch them. And that's a really tidy way to tidy up your wires. So what you're left with now is just a nice little wind ready to go to the motor. So all we do now then is get the contacts of the motor. Place them in like this. And I'm going to solder them now and then we'll recap on everything now at the end. So here it is now with the battery connected. So the switch is in the center, so it's off. Place it one way, goes one direction. The other way, it goes the other direction. 
So it's a double pull, double throw, center off. So I'm gonna just have a quick run through the circuit diagram with you now. Okay, everyone, so here are the circuit diagrams. So we've seen on the opposite of this sheet and earlier on in the video, the wiring diagrams, but the circuit diagrams are also important. So if you remember back when I had the battery in the motor, when I placed the battery with the power positive going through one side of the motor, it went one way. When I swapped it around, it went the other way. And this is the principle of how the double pole, double throw switch works. It's basically just directing the current through the motor in both directions. So if you look at direction one here, We've got our 9 volt battery with our positive side here. So let's just track how the current flows. So it's going this direction through this part of the switch. It's going through the motor then this direction. All the way back to the negative. So that's one direction. So again, it's going all the way around here and back through the motor this direction. So if you look then how in direction two, the poles switch because it's a double pole so they can either be going here if we label these one two three and four here in direction one it's at one and three if we go here one two three and four they're at two and four so let's track the current here this time it is going through the motor the opposite direction so as we've seen from earlier on when current flows through the motor in the opposite direction it will go the other way so again it goes this way in this direction and it goes through the motor that way in that direction all right everybody i hope this helps um because chances are quite a number of you will be using this switch in uh, some of your projects thanks for watching everybody and see you all in the next video